Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to do is a Starnet integration into the FreeSeal program and we will be doing a test run on Starnet uh, for the Needle Galaxy with the data obtained from the Dwarf 2 telescope. So let's get into this right now on the channel. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to starnetastro.com slash download and we are going to scroll down to the command line tool version. Do not download any other version because they will not work. So this is for Windows. We are going to download the zip file. Okay, so as you can see, Starnet is now downloaded onto the PC. So we're just going to go ahead and open the download. We're going to click on the zip file and copy the folder that is within the zip file. We're going to go to our program files now and we're just going to paste it in here. Okay, so let's just check and see that everything is in here. Just open up the file. As you can see, we have the application and the test files in here as well. So next step we want to do is we want to just open the serial program. And we are going to immediately go to preferences. We're going to click on miscellaneous. And we are going to tell it where the software location is for the Starnet program. So let's go ahead and scroll down to our PC. We're going to scroll down to our program files. And we're going to scroll down now to the uh, Starnet program and click open. Click on the application, open again. All right, so we have the uh, program here. We're going to click apply. And now Starnet is included into the program. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a quick run through. I'm not going to do a lot of explaining on how to actually process the image. Um, if you want to be able to process the image, you can follow the workflow that is on the M101 processing video. Uh, this video is mainly focused on the Starnet, so that's what we're going to quickly try to get to. So uh, we're going to go home. We're going to click on our pictures. We're going to go to our serial folder and click on the Needle Galaxy and hit open. We're just going to immediately go to our script and click on pre-processing without dark bias or flat because I do not use dark bias or flats when imaging uh, when processing my image. So we're just going to let's go ahead and run through the process and I will skip to the part where it is finished. Okay, the stacking is complete as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and try to run through this really quickly because my battery is actually almost dead which is a big problem for this video uh, that's pretty much our finalized image it's the best that we would get with a image processing so now what we're gonna do is we are going to go to our starnet uh, we're gonna go down to star processing for starnet we're going to click star processing and click starnet star removal as you can see it has a valid starnet uh, executable a bull in the sorry I can't talk it has a valid starnet executable found in the configured starnet installation directory that is what we did in the preferences so now we're gonna go ahead and do the starnet start removal uh, let's recompose the stars on completion and upsample the image and we're just gonna click execute and that is actually gonna close everything it is going to run the starnet program as you can see it's actually starting up so we're just gonna go ahead and let that run and we will get back to when it is complete Okay, so here we have our reduced star image. As you can see, there's far less. Um, we can just change the stretch factor on the stars. We can actually make them bigger, which looks terrible, absolutely terrible. Uh, we can make them smaller. We can change the black point to make them even tinier. Basically get rid of all of the f uh, fade around the stars. Uh, we can move the symmetry point around a little bit just to mess with the stretch factor a little bit more. Uh, click apply, sure. Um, you could actually go and save this image as a unique file. 
you know, we're just going to go ahead and click on open. Go to our Needle Galaxy and click on our PNG here. Here's our finalized image with the star removal. Um, as you can see, the Starnet star removal worked. Uh, I'm not a professional with the Starnet. I just know how to install it. Uh, the basics on how to use it. I hope this guy is, this video helped you guys out a little bit on how to actually install the program. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, um, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.